It means a lot to me to not only represent the Somali women, but also Muslim women in this competition. For me to compete, that's just like opening doors for so many other girls. I could have sat there and I could have waited for a long time to like see somebody who was dressed like me or looked like me, but I noticed that that's just not happening. So I'm like, you know, I'll just do whatever I can. I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna wear a bikini. So I reached out to the pageant directors and I showed them pictures of Muslim women who are dressed in Islamic like swimwear. And then I asked her if that would be okay for me to wear. As long as I could remember, the media portrays Muslim women as oppressed and, you know, in a very negative light. But you never see the beauty and, like, the good things, positive things that come from Muslim women. I think, like, not seeing women that look like you in media in general, and especially in beauty competitions, it just kind of sends the message that you're not beautiful. Or you have to, like, you know, change the way you look to be considered beautiful, I guess. And that's not true. It's a beauty contest and every like race, demographic, everybody should be represented. It's a huge honor to just have to worry about going to school, going to work, coming home and you know, that's it. Our parents, they had different worries and struggles. I am very honored and proud to be a part of the Somali community because growing up where I lack an aunt or uncle or support, I would find it in my neighbors. I would be representing both sides of me because on one hand I am a Minnesotan so I'm representing my state. I'm also representing Somali people in general. I'm going in as me, my authentic self. I'm not gonna dress down or you know change myself. Because right now it's the Somali community and the Minnesotan when in reality it's just one community. There shouldn't be like a gap or a bridge that's separating us.